Hey, what is going on everyone? I am Drake with WCCF Tech TV, and today we have some news for you guys about AMD Ryzen. As we're about two weeks past Ryzen launch now, AMD recently released a little update to their community addressing some issues about AMD Ryzen. Let's get started by looking straight into the news. So, while Ryzen did launch a few weeks ago, and so far it is a pretty big success amongst both reviewers and consumers, however, just like with any launch for any product, there was a few bugs and issues that people did experience within the first few weeks of Ryzen. AMD posted a community update to their own forum where they address problems and basically just give an update on everything that will be coming with Ryzen as well as addressing some issues. Robert Halleck, head of technical marketing for AMD, posted this update on March 13th and gave info on a lot of things regarding Ryzen. First was the thread scheduling issue. These issues were based upon reports that were alleging incorrect thread scheduling with the new CPUs. AMD also ensured that there should not be an issue with performance deltas between Windows 8 and that of Windows 10. This is to dismiss some previous reports that Windows 10 scheduler was the issue for AMD having some shaky issues for performance. However, Halleck with AMD shut down most of those rumors and issues pretty fast, saying that everything is operating properly and up to speed. Next, AMD addressed the temperature reporting sensors on Ryzen. This sensor, called the T-Control sensor, may be offset on certain CPU models, so all AM4 CPUs have the same T-Control value. AMD also provided a chart that helps better explain the fan policies and how temperatures are reported on these new CPUs. There wasn't really an issue regarding this, Halleck basically just explained that everything better so it all makes more sense now. Moving along in this update, AMD also recommends to turn on high performance mode on Windows 10. This will give the best performance for two reasons mainly. One being that the core parking is off, this way the thread scheduler can use idle cores instantly compared to the balanced power plan that has some latency due to low power states and whatnot. The other reason is that these CPUs can alter voltages and frequencies quite rapidly and having a computer on the balanced power plan may slow this change of speed or voltage down. So to be simple, if you have a Ryzen CPU, make sure that you are using the high performance power plan on Windows 10 for ensured perfect performance. Now the last piece of info that we got here from AMD was about SMT or simultaneous multi-threading. There were reports going out that SMT was reducing performance in some games, and AMD basically responded by saying that games should usually see a neutral or positive benefit into nearly all titles. However, those that are suffering from these issues, AMD assures that it will be improved and there will be a status update soon. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. So far, it looks like AMD is doing a great job ever since Horizon launch in talking to their community, you know, taking feedback in and just being very interactive with its customers and fans. And I think that's something that a lot of companies tend to not do. So good job to AMD on doing that and making sure that Ryzen has having the best possible rollout um, as they could possibly plan here. Thank you for watching WCCF Tech TV. I'm Drake signing out. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.